stars. Kate Gate claims more victims. Tucker Carlson was duped by YouTubers into interviewing fake Kate Middleton whistleblower. Get this. Tucker Carlson has been pranked over Kate Middleton's infamous edited photo. How could it happen? The former Fox News anchor was duped by British YouTubers Josh and Archie into interviewing a fake Kensington Palace whistleblower who was prepared to dish the dirt on the doctored image. Were they the interns named Colin, Ewan, or Ian? Archie Manners posed as the Prince and Princess of Wales' former digital content creator, who claimed he had been fired for altering the Mother's Day image so poorly it was rumbled by the public. Say our name, social media, not the public. Social media presented credible critiques of that phony picture and got it kill noticed by all five major press agencies around the world. A victory for truth and reporting. But that didn't stop these YouTubers from suckering old Tucker Carlson. Oh yes, you remember why he was let go from Fox. The Tucker Carlson Network, which streams on Twitter now, X, accepted his story after Manners and co-conspirator Josh Peters forged Kensington Palace employment documents. It's not that hard to do, is it? And now Tucker Carlson is one of us, a social media person. He isn't part of some grand moneyed network. He's down here in the trenches with the regular Joe, the other streamers, the YouTubers who duped him. Oh, this is just poetic justice. The YouTubers faked Letter of engagement for the whistleblower included a clause stating that the palace had a right to amputate one of his limbs should he fail his probation period. Carlson's people did not spot the preposterous faked document and Manners was sent to a London studio with a hotline to Carlson for the interview. Wow. In the YouTuber's video, Carlson is seen introducing his guest with the line, We've done our best to verify your identity is what you say it is. You're not a fake Alexei Navalny or doing a prank. Sucker-ish for Tucker Carlson in 2024. <laughs> All of Tucker Carlson's journalistic credibility has now officially evaporated like the morning dew. In character, Manners said, I was fired for negligence because the editing that I did was found. The editing job was almost too big to do. He claimed the picture was taken by Middleton's uncle. <laughs> uncle Gary? Uncle Gary, lately of Celebrity Big Brother first Big Brother guest kicked off after spewing all that hate about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, but illuminating nothing about his niece, Kate Middleton. Huh. He claimed the picture was taken by Middleton's uncle, Gary, over the... S <laughs> he claimed the picture was taken by Middleton's uncle, Gary, over the holiday season, and he had to edit out a Christmas tree from the background. It is an amazing story, Carlson is shown saying. The presenter appeared happy with the interview, telling Manners, That was great! His staff later told Manners that they would stream the exchange early next week. <laughs> Manners told Deadline that he and Peters decided to blow their cover because they did not want disinformation to be shown to Carlson's 12.6% million ex-followers. We didn't want to cause any more rumors that are not true to go out to lots and lots of people, he said. We just didn't want to be too worthy about that in our video. Manners said he stroked Carlson's ego with the bullish claim that he was giving the former Foxman the exclusive because 
mainstream media in the UK wouldn't touch it. (laughs) Deadline has contacted Tucker Carlson Network for comment. Josh and Archie are well-known YouTube pranksters, boasting nearly 1.5 million subscribers. Previous pranks include tricking Carol Baskin into an interview and giving fee- and giving free speech firebrand Katie Hopkins a fake award. Well, good for them. I like it. I might subscribe. Hmm. But Mark comments, do you forget that Carlson was fired from Fox because his outlandish lies, which Fox proudly broadcast, cost the network many millions of dollars in punitive damages? You should pay closer attention. And indeed, Tucker Carlson seems more of an infotainment brand than any kind of careful considered or skilled journalists don't confuse the two kate gate hashtag where is kate it's just it's just a setup for more foolishness but the key is having discernment so you can pick it apart know it when you see it (laughs) give it the smell test does this seem real and nobody in tucker carlson's office had the least little bit of skepticism nor did they read all of the documents that they were given as part of their vetting process and that should tell you something they gonna take a story if it fits their agenda not if the facts line up in my humble opinion let me know what you think